is my OH and I have my Cl plus an H plus ion which was released very important so this is my dye substituted benzene molecule and uh, yeah so this is the electrophilic substitution that takes place there is no difference uh, this OH just stays here it doesn't go anywhere the only thing is that the Cl can attach either here or I'll just use another pen another color it can attach either here it can attach or it can attach here or it can attach here so these two positions are basically the same because same distance from the carbon atom this carbon atom but uh, uh, th this one is from the f it is to the far end so now I can have isomers of this compound so I have if what if what if instead of on the two position instead of the two position I had my chlorine at the four position I could also have it here um, that is not my color I will use red for this yeah so I had, what if I had chlorine over here so, uh, just a second yeah Yeah, so chlorine I have cl what if I have chlorine over here so there are two isomers uh, I'm erasing this H plus for now uh, because I want to make the other isomer what if I have this and I also have this this is my other isomer which I had made initially so these are two isomers of the same molecule uh, the difference is the position of the chlorine atom so it's either on the 2 position or the 4 position now the, now the thing is that one of these isos, I, isomers is more stable than the other and um, so this isomer which is the in which the chlorine is attached to the 4 position is more stable now the reason for this is that uh, if you see chlorine over here it's not this small it's actually a very big molecule so it might it might uh, it might hinder with this OH group because it's a big molecule it might hinder with this group so they are very close right now and that's why it, they might hinder and that's why this won't be formed in such a high amount but here the chlorine atom so uh, the chlorine atom is much far uh, further away from the OH group so there will be no hindrance this is known as steric hindrance it is steric hindrance you don't have to write this in your exam this is just for your explanation so to prevent st steric hindrance this isomer will form in a greater yield than this isomer we have yield which is uh, sorry I didn't complete this steric hindrance we have yield which is the amount we get so this isomer forms in a greater yield than the other isomer so the para isomer will always form in a greater yield than the ortho isomer so this is what you need to remember and now let's do an electrophilic substitution example for the deactivating groups so I have nit I, I'll take nitrobenzene my stable benzene my nitro group NO2 so I have nitrobenzene and I also want to react it react it with the Cl plus so in this case I know that this is an electron donating electron withdrawing group I'm sorry so it will deactivate these the two four and six positions and it will activate the three and five positions so this position and this position will be activated so this chlorine plus Cl plus ion can only attach to either of these positions 
so i have my curly arrows from here to here after this we just need to look at the we just need to make the electrophilic substitution mechanism